Next up in the heat check series is Ignite forward Leonard Miller, who took massive strides as a prospect between entering the 2022 draft process to now. He's a funky wing forward hybrid with some guard tendencies, standing at 6 foot 10, 211 pounds, and he looks every bit of it. He averaged 18 points, 11 rebounds, 1.6 assists, 0.9 steals, and 0.8 blocks per game while shooting 56% overall, 33% from three, and 79% from the line. He'll be 19 on draft night. Starting with athleticism, Miller is a pretty good athlete for his size, earning him a grade of hot here. He's extremely fluid and powerful. For his size, he's certainly above average in the verticality department too. I don't think he always looks the most coordinated, if that makes sense. There's mistimed or wrong-footed jumps, errant dribbles, etc. He's very much still in the process of figuring out his capabilities at his size. But the tools are certainly there, and when he puts it all together, he's going to be a force. And I think it's something that's going to make him that much more potent at the next level. Scoring 18 points per game at just 19 years old in the G League, it's clear that Miller has a knack for seeing the ball through the hoop. The question is how translatable will it be at the next level? I've gone back and forth between warm and hot here. I landed on warm, but you could really swing me either way. Miller has a hodgepodge scoring package that almost leaves you wondering what exactly he is. Off ball is where he made the most of his time with the Ignite, functioning primarily as a rim runner, but he's also got plenty of live dribble tape that pops too. As a starting point, his combination of size, speed, strength, and fluidity allowed him to really take advantage of having larger, slow-footed bigs on him, which is great on or off ball and could be pretty translatable to the next level. He utilizes that fluidity as a cutter, patiently sits in the dunker spot, and is constantly running the floor in transition to actually get to the rim. Once he's there, he's a phenomenal at-rim finisher at 66% against upgraded competition, mind you, and it's certainly no fluke. He's adept at absorbing and finishing through contact and sometimes even avoiding it altogether via good body control for his size. And I think he's shown just enough to have real upside as both a roll and a pop man in the pick and roll. The primary issue inside is that he lacks any sort of devastating post game and he's not adept enough as a floor stretcher or creationist to really extend centers outside of the paint, at least in the NBA. He's next in line of these guards that saw a massive growth spurt late so he's quite literally still learning to play like a true big man all over the court. Per Synergy, he ranked below average or poor in pretty much every shot type outside of the paint, jump shots, catch and shoot shots, dribble jumpers, you name it. And that's a major improvement point for him to become viable in the NBA, which we'll get to later. But he has a really intriguing handle and feel for the game on ball and as a creator. And he's at least a project catch and shoot floor spacer he can attack closeouts and simple stuff pretty easily. He has a nice little Euro step in his bag, and he can improvise really, really well for a guy of his stature. Again, it's just very hodgepodge. He's really at his best in this in-between spot, the upside down, if you will, between the posts and the perimeter, using shades of both, which can be a really scary place for prospects in general, and especially, air quotes, a big. But the production is there. He does tons of the little stuff you like to see, high motor, elite rebounder, team player, I think in the least, he can offer some niche scoring options for teams, and at best, he puts all of these things together and becomes a really potent NBA scorer. Defensively, Miller had a bit of an up and down reputation prior to his G League season, but he made tremendous strides, likely here more than anywhere else with the Ignite. His growth, mixed with his constant effort, earned him a warm grade from me. He'll realistically be able to guard 3 through 5, most suited to 4s, small ball centers, and heavier footed wings, but he shouldn't have too much trouble with the average traditional center or 3 either. Again, he's not a traditional rim protector or strictly perimeter oriented defender, he's at his best in that kind of middle or gray area as a wing stopper or power forward protectant. He gives great effort and stays engaged constantly. Those are two things you will never have to worry about with Leonard Miller, really on either side of the ball. He's a solid defensive playmaker, he's aggressive as a shot blocker, and comes up with steals via his length and just general peskiness. On ball, Miller is pretty wishy-washy, but man, when he is locked in, he can look awesome. He doesn't have impeccable footwork all the time, but he slides well enough and can employ that very same combination of size and quickness, and it allows him to really, really lock in. It's fun stuff to witness when he walls up. Off ball, the effort goes a long ways, He's long enough to wreak havoc at times, but in the end, he's just not sound enough defensively as he can be offensively at times. He's more prone to lapses and can get punished a bit more for it, 
He just feels generally a little slower as a defender, not due to his actual speed, but just his processing of what's happening around him, and I think that will come with time. I'm feeling warm on Miller's passing and playmaking. He's a capable and willing passer, and again, relative to his size, he's well ahead of the curve as a passer playmaker. For the most part, he can make the easy reads, shares the ball with ease, and is going to be really good in high-low situations. He's got pretty connective passing attributes, but he can pull out the flash and pizzazz some too. In a similar vein to his scoring, Miller is constantly looking ahead in transition, which can be a real weapon when coupled with his elite defensive rebounding. And he's even got the handle to push the pace himself, too. His playmaking is a similar story, but with obviously less to go off of. It's certainly there in short bursts, similar to coast-to-coast -coast offhand layups or turnaround mid-range Js. This is likely where he gets the most sped up, however. He has a negative assist-to-turnover ratio. It's just another piece of the puzzle that he'll likely need to figure out how it fits, but it's at least something he's got in his bag. I'm feeling hot on Leonard Miller's overall feel for the game. This is probably the easiest I've been able to quantify feel for a prospect in this video series yet. Miller is by no means a bad basketball player, but everything we've covered so far screams that he shouldn't be having the impact he's having. Post size with no real post game, inconsistent score outside of the paint, prone to defensive lapses, and yet he's producing at an incredible rate. 18 points, 11 rebounds, nearly a steal and block per game. He ended the season as one of the Ignite's best players and obviously they're not on the same level as prospects, but that's better professional production than Scoot Henderson, and he's 19 years old. That is the impact that Miller's feel for the game has, when he should be outmatched at every turn against tough competition, yet he's still somehow able to make winning plays constantly because he's a high field player. It's something I can put my trust in regarding prospects. Alright, on to the swing skill, and you guessed it, shooting. Typically, a rangy forward with this wonky of a shooting form would earn a cold grade from me, but Miller's shot just kind of goes in, and honestly, I think there's something to be said for that. Be it confidence, sheer luck, I don't know, the shot just fell at a decent enough rate, 33% on 2.2 attempts. It's not incredible, but we've seen worse starting points, and we're talking about a pro-level three-point line too. In a 15-game span near the end of the season, he shot 39% on exactly two attempts per game, and it's certainly something to monitor because if he can ever become even a below-average floor spacer, it's going to open up his game tremendously. The form is bad. No ifs, ands, or buts. This is not one of those things where you make a few tweaks and everything's fine. It's flat. It's a push shot. He doesn't use enough of his legs. It's not something you can really reform overnight because then you're at risk of ruining it altogether or much worse, the guy's confidence. But I think it is certainly something that can be improved on throughout the years, and I think he made some slight adjustments in season. We've also seen guys with funky shots become league average or even better. It's not something I would typically bet on, but I can look past certain aspects of it if the numbers can convince me, and here, they kind of do. That said, I'm not projecting him as some future 40 percenter. He could turn around as a rookie and completely implode, and that wouldn't surprise me either. It's just something to keep an eye on regarding his stock and his future. The grade. I've given Leonard Miller a grade of 7.8, which is actually going to land him as a lottery talent for me personally in 2023, potentially just outside of it as I keep diving into these prospects. That is likely quite a bit higher than the consensus, but the production is there, innate size, movement, and feel are there, his potential upside is through the roof, there's no part of his game that's a complete non-factor. I think even as a base level prospect, he provides value as a rim runner, rebounder, solid defender, team involver, and plenty more little things. And perhaps most importantly, he's shown a ton of growth and willingness to learn and work through issues in a situation that likely wasn't easy, especially after testing the 2022 draft waters. He needs to work on developing more big skills and generally getting less sped up. Half the time it looks like he's playing on 1.5 times speed and composure would go a long ways for him. Ultimately, Leonard Miller kind of feels like all of these ingredients that you accidentally spilled into a blender and you're really not anticipating it to work at all, then you taste it and it just kind of keeps surprising you how good it can be. And I can handle some unconventionality in a league that's trending more and more towards it. That's it for this one. Let me know what you think of Leonard Miller, what you grade him, where you draft him, drop you want to see in the next heat check. We'll see you later.